on today's episode of Huber Syndrome, we see how many times we can reference Coulson and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I know it's a little late, but the Black Panther hype is still here. It is still consuming my every thought. Next stop, Avengers Infinity War. So we're going back and we're going through a couple of my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe films because I am an addict. I'm addicted. I haven't watched them in a while, so I'm kind of pulling from, from memory. But uh, one thing I never forget, Coulson and S.H.I.E.L.D. So first, let's start with the story. I didn't even plan this, but as you can see, I'm wearing a Batman shirt, courtesy of Dark Knight. Thank you very much. I'm wearing a Batman shirt because I grew up Batman. Batman and Superman. Solely because of the Batman animated series and the Superman animated series, that is what I grew up with. The hype began there. Batman is arguably my favorite thing on this earth. Maybe more than Resident Evil, I don't know. I don't want, I don't want, it's not a war between them. Who knows? The point is, is that I'm a DC guy. So when they announced all these Marvel movies like Thor and, and Iron Man and, and even Captain America, I was like, huh? Yeah, sure, I'm excited, but you know, they're not Batman. I'm, I'm a cool little kid, you know, I like Batman. So when this all got announced, this shared universe, I wasn't skeptical, but I wasn't, I didn't know what I was in for basically. So the first movie up, The Avengers. How can we not talk about Avengers 1? That fateful scene when Loki kills Agent Coulson and sparks the Avengers initiative. They all come together because of his death. I absolutely love Avengers 1 uh, because we had never seen anything like that before. I, I hadn't seen anything like that before. We had just seen these solo blockbuster tentpole movies and then they all teamed up and it lived up to the hype. It was an unforgettable moment. I'll never forget. How many times are you watching like USA or TBS and it does that one Avenger shot when they're all there? How many times have you seen that shot? Ask yourself. Next on the list, when the obsession became lethal. Winter Soldier. Yo, Winter Soldier. A superhero movie I want to see with my dad. It's got Robert Redford, the man, the myth, the legend. Winter Soldier really kicked off the current Marvel vibe. Well, now it's like cosmic in space, but phase two there for a while was all about weapons tech. It was this spy thriller grounded in reality. You know, it, it was, a, it was, Barely a superhero movie. I know it was, but still, it was. It had that that sh those shades of real world people, and I loved it for that. And I and I love weapons tech, by the way. You know who really loves weapons tech? The Agents of Shield. Winter Soldier is when Agents of Shield got nuts because all the Hydra agents intercepted Shield and took it over from within some insane plan. Shield was compromised, they were destroyed. And how can we not bring up my favorite character in the whole MCU, my man Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier himself. Such a great character arc. Coming back all the way in the 40s with Steve Rogers, going to the, the, the future on ice as the Winter Soldier, some tragic stuff in Civil War. Uh, you know, now he's basically Geralt of Rivia after the events of Black Panthers, so we'll see what happens with the White Wolf. Not Geralt, Buck Bucky Barnes is the White Wolf now. Move over, Geralt. Next on the list, this feels like cheating. I don't know, Spider-Man Homecoming. Wanna know why this is on the list straight up? Jolly Cooperation, Easy Alliance, Craft Before Greed. Sony, here you go, Marvel. Here you go, you can make a movie with, with Spider-Man, sure. Spider-Man in the MCU, this late in the game. I can't even believe this happened still. 
uh, and, and let alone, it's incredible, you know? And, and to be so good after we've seen so much Spider-Man, right? Like, when Iron Man and Thor and all that stuff came out, I hadn't experienced much of it, but with all the Spider-Mans, one, two, three, Amazing Spider-Man, all the Spider-Man video games, there's so much Spider-Man, but they still managed to make it fresh and epic. Also, the weapons tech in there is incredible. Love it. Really love the twist with Shocker there. It's basically just like an alias, uh, but again, some of those weapons like Toombs' uh, sick jet pack, God, that was so cool. There's so much awesome in this movie. And Avengers is coming. So, Spider-Man, Hulk, let's go. Oh yeah. And lastly, it's a new one, Thor Ragnarok. So the MCU is now in space. Everybody's in space. The Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are in space trying to save the world and the galaxy. Who knows what's gonna happen there? But Thor Ragnarok. I wanna talk about the relationships in Thor Ragnarok. That is my favorite thing. The relationship of Thor with Bruce Banner. The relationship of Thor with Hulk. The relationship of Thor and Loki. The relationship of Loki and Hulk. The relationship of Valkyrie with everyone because she's a badass. Also, it sets up uh, quite an important villain, possibly in the future. We don't really know the fate of Kate Blanchett's Hela, but we do know she's important to Thanos in the comic books. Let's see how that all plays out. Is she alive? Is she dead? Can you kill death? We don't know. But this movie was so fun. A uh, big shout out to Ian Hink for making me watch What We Do in the Shadows. Uh, before this movie came out, so it was perfect, so I had a connection to, to the director, and it was just a playful movie, and once again, Marvel continues to reinvent and try new things and go in bold places. I mean, this is a crazy movie about cosmic space fighters, and it is freaking awesome. Hulk, Spider-Man, give me the team up. Give me the team up. You know what other team up, team up I want? Coulson with the Avengers. Let's make that happen. So that's it for the episode. Black Panther is a 10 out of 10. All that's left, well, not all that's left, but next is Avengers Infinity War. Please be good. Please be the greatest cinematic movie going experience of all time. Seeing that in the IMAX. The only thing that I want other than Spider-Man and Hulk is just give me that, give me that Coulson reunion. I, I'm, I'm not even kidding you allies. I am not joking. I'm speaking from my heart and my soul. I'm getting emotional right now because you know how weirdly obsessed I am with S.H.I.E.L.D. If Coulson and the team show up in any capacity in Avengers 3 or 4, weep. I will weep. I was going to say I'll stand up and cl start clapping in the theater, but that would disrupt people around me, and we don't want to do that in the movie theater. Shh. So I'm at Michael P. Huber. You can follow me on Twitter. We are Easy Allies. If you like what you saw, help us out on Patreon. We're also on YouTube and twitch.tv slash easyallies where we stream a bunch of stuff. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is amazing. There's really nothing like it. And it's coming to an end in about a year. Avengers 4 will be the culmination, the conclusion. Sorry for all the air quotes. I don't know why I'm doing that today, but it's going down. Air quotes. Take that, Bossman. <laughs> See you next week, everybody. Time for the syndrome. I just right now found out that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is ending after this season. It's bittersweet. We're in bonus time now. We're on season five. I didn't know if this show was gonna make it to season four, let alone five. They have a plan to wrap it up as they want to. Creator's intent. 
It's all we can ask for.